read me. I'm getting lots of interference. I think I can figure things out from here, sir. What? Wait. Hey, look. Darcy photoshopped her faces into a still frame of a buddy cop movie. That's, um... Yeah. In Washington today, Senator Patrick Darcy unveiled new legislation There's aimed a note at cleaning Parker up the federal here. government. The agency made me give this to you. Access to legislators. What a guy. The bill called the people over Agent Darcy sent me this for ace in the training PLRC course. He misspelled my name. Thornton. You mean a rope way to score? I think she custom framed it just for me. Nice.
careful, Mike. Don't play games with these guys. If I can get in without a firefight, that makes getting to Nasri that much easier. American. Nasri said nothing about an American. Canadian, actually, but I won't hold that against you. What is your business here, Canadian? Christmas trees. Come on, you know what I'm here for. I call Nasri. Check on you. Go ahead. It's not gonna check out, Mike. You need to take him out before he gets to the radio. Nasri's headquarters are in an old palace up the hill. That's your target. There's been quiet since the airliner. I would have expected more to have happened. The airliner was enough, and we have the Helltech missiles for that. Do not be too eager. Alternate ways in. 
No need to risk a direct confrontation. I'll keep an eye out. stairs. Yourself useful. Start unloading the second truck. Why must we hurry to unload these weapons? Nasri has plenty to display already.
a way into the palace. Good. It's going to be hot in there. Careful, Mike. Collection. Wonder if any of it works. See if there's something you can use. at the entrance. Try to get to it without getting killed.
careful, Mike. Nasri's got to be nearby. There's no other exits from the palace. See the gun? That's who I am. You do this? Why? I am businessman. Not attack anyone. Look, not... enough already. Tell me where the Halbeck missiles are, or I add you to the body count. The missiles? You are too late. Already gone. Sold. You cause all this trouble for nothing. Sold? To who? I take their cash, not their names. You come a few days ago. Maybe you could have killed them instead of my men, eh? Mike, this is bad news. If he's telling the truth. What you do now, huh? Kill me? That not get your missiles back. Mike, we need to know where those missiles went. If we let him go, he could lead us to the people he sold the missiles to. Or they might come after him. Either way, we win. But if he can't lead us to the buyers, then we've let a killer go, and more people will die. Remember that rocket attack in Money, your... guns, yours, if you let me go. I'll take the cash you made on the sales here, and the account number to the Saudi holdings you think no one knows about. It'll save me from having to hack the file. Saudi holdings? But... The cash and the account code. I, I get you both. Here, I, I transmit to you. Uh, number check out, see? Good. Now get out of here before the Marines show. Are you sure about this, Mike? Yeah. If we just let him go without a bribe, he would have smelled a trap. Ah. Uh. I want him scared, not paranoid. And a little extra cash might prove useful later on. Fair enough. Search the room, see what you can find. devastating attack on a U.S. base in Dahran has left several Marines dead. An early morning raid by members of an as of yet unidentified group.
Patrick Darcy unveiled new legislation aimed at cleaning up the federal government. Mike, I heard you let Nasri go. So we could track him, yes. Must have been a hard choice. If you'd been able to snag him, you probably could have disrupted arms traffic in the region. At least for a while. That's not my mission. Getting Shahid is. Anything come up you need my help with? So you've been with Alpha Protocol a while, then? Not as long as Westridge. And not nearly as long as Parker. This assignment with Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. What other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how we found out the missiles were gone in the first place. <sighs> Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the airliner? Well, we'll catch him this time. He won't get another chance. I hope so. I feel like if we'd been a little quicker with analyzing the data... Don't beat yourself up over it. What's done is done. Let's focus on the next step. You're right. We're closing in on him, and it shouldn't be much longer. Still, with Alpha Protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helbeck's a substantial government contractor. The fact the missiles were involved... complicates things. Complicates things? As in... they're a potential embarrassment to Helbeck? I think that's a big part of it. U.S. weapons used to kill U.S. citizens? Wouldn't look good on a front page, even if the missiles were stolen. Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. Like what, the CIA? The CIA, the NSA. Most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And if it's found out, it just gets buried and renamed. Renamed? To Beta or Gamma Protocol? No clue. Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. Wonder if I'd get a new name if Alpha Protocol shut down. I don't know. We might get new names, new identities. Or fired. Can you tell me anything about my mission here in Saudi? Probably nothing Westridge hasn't explained already. If you infiltrate the airfield Shahid uses, I may have more practical advice. Why is that? I'll be your handler for that mission. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. I know it's your first time infiltrating an airfield. As long as you're backing me up, I think I'll be in good hands. That's very optimistic of you, Agent Thornton. 
but I appreciate the trust. Can you tell me anything about Shahid? Not much more than you'd find in his dossier. His personal fortune doubled in one year when gas was $4 a gallon. And he likes feeling safe when he travels. What do you mean, safe? While well, Al-Samad is mostly untrained civilians using Cold War guns, his personal bodyguards are well-trained. And judging from the missile used on the airliner, let's just say he makes sure they have cutting-edge tech. This seems like a big assignment for a new hire. There must have been other candidates. There were other candidates, including Darcy. But the recommendation was based on Parker, Westridge, and me. Although when I made my recommendation, it wasn't about Shahid. It was about the larger mission. So why me? Because I think when given a choice, you're going to choose the people of a country over the heads of state. And that's not a choice many people here would make in the same circumstances. Especially Darcy. To be fair to Darcy, though, he has family issues that prevent him from going. Notably, his father. According to your dossier, your family isn't an issue. Is that all I am to you? A dossier? Until you arrived at Alpha Protocol, you were. Not anymore. I think you're someone who does what's right. And that's what I'm counting on. So I've read up on you. <laughs> really? Thinking about a career as a stalker. Isn't that what a handler is? Some truth to that. You used to be with the National Security Administration, right? Yes. <sighs> but it didn't work out so well. I felt I wasn't doing much to make the world a safer place. So you signed on to Alpha Protocol? They contacted me, yes. And here I am talking to you now. That's all I need. Thanks, Mina. You got it. Call me if you need anything else. Try not to alert the camp. If you do, we may lose our chance to find Shahid. I'm inside. Sure is a lot of security. Tell me about it. There's cameras all over the place. It's bad. But it also means they've got something here worth protecting. Judging from the schematics, there's a security gate cutting you off from the tower. Any way around it? Should be a terminal for the gate in one of the buildings. Aside from the panel and the gate itself, but... Walking right up to the gate will leave me exposed. Got it. I might be able to find a way over it. If you can fly, then you're welcome to try. I think you'd be surprised.
Right, I've got some IDs on some of the men in the camp. Looks like some of Shahid's elite are here. If you can take them out. Then I won't have to worry about running into them later. That. Good job. You've shut down the hangar cameras. Mm, the ones at the tower are on a different circuit, though.
like they got a stockpile of weapons here. Let me see if I can destroy these crates before they get shipped out. All right, Mike. But the control tower comes first. That's the last of them. Well done. Now for the tower. Transmitting the logs now. Why, thank you, Mr. Thornton. It seems you found the Al-Samad flight records. Can't wait to analyze these.
control, we're good. Now get out of there. Mike, you made it back from the airfield. I was worried that once you were spotted... You need to have a little faith in me. I suppose. You did manage to get us the flight logs. It may be a problem in the future, though. If Shahid feels we're on to him, he'll bring his elite guard in, which could make your upcoming missions more difficult. I'll have to be on my guard then. Not much else to be done. Is the bug transmitting? Loud and clear, no problems. Parker's on it now which is why I called. Looks like we have something. Shahid's coordinates and an ETA. How reliable is it? 90%. The information we got from Nasri helped, and the transmission we're getting from the airfield confirms it. It looks like this is it, Mike. Westridge will be with you on the comm, and I'll be monitoring in case things get... difficult. What about the Al-Samad camp? Should I still check it out, or...? There's time. You may find something useful. Try not to get killed, though, or else we'll have to find another agent. You know, you need to work on your compassion. I'm too busy working on my pragmatism. Goodbye, Mike. When you go after Shahid, Westridge will contact you. All right, Thornton out. See you.
What's up, Mikey? Problems already? Just checking in. Had some questions about the mission and Alpha Protocol. Well, I guess I should feel lucky you're not within shooting distance. After the cheap shots you took on the firing range. The Alcimod detention camp, where they got the weapon stockpiles? Anything you can tell me? Getting satellite imagery of the area has been hard. My contacts haven't turned up much. What's the problem with the imagery? Camp's remote, and dug into the side of a canyon. Beautiful view, but lousy for spying from above. Any other intel you can give me? I'm still checking leads, but not much right now. The airliner going down has really scared my contacts. Been a bitch getting in touch with them. But as for getting into the detention center... The thing about the camp is weather. Sandstorms are hitting the area pretty hard. Which is to your advantage. How? It cuts down visibility for you and them. You need to sneak in before they know you're there. So just wait for the storm to kick up, then take them out. All right. Good to know. Oh, one other thing. They've dug in deep, with a maze of tunnels beneath the camp. If they've got any weapons down there, it's going to be a pain getting to them. So what do you recommend? They probably have as much trouble finding their way around as you do. So follow power lines or work lights when you can. Might guide you to where they've got their stockpiles. Got it. If they use those same routes to move around, shouldn't be too hard to pick them off, either. I'll upload what maps I have to your PDA. They probably keep the weapons in the bottom of the base in case they, uh, well, explode. Been with Alpha Protocol long? Longer than you, so yeah, long enough. They're a problem? I was just curious how you managed to get this mission instead of me. But if you don't want to tell me, that's fine, too. I don't remember asking for it so much as it being dumped in my lap. So there wasn't even a discussion? I heard there was a chance I could have gone. Never came up in conversation? Huh. All right. I thought you might have convinced Westridge not to send me. Guess I was wrong. It sounds like you're going to be my handler when I infiltrate the Asamad camp. Yeah, I got stuck handholding you. Hope that's not a problem. Nothing's wrong, just making sure we're good. Look, orientation's one thing, a mission's another. People think I have an attitude, but it doesn't keep me from doing my job. I admit, I'd rather be on the mission. But you're the one Westridge picked, so let's get this done. That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy.